What's up guys, Dr. Gooden here. It's great to see your faces today. You all look great. You always look amazing. I am super thrilled to talk about the ocean personality test or the five factors personality test. In this video, what I'll do is just briefly describe and explain each of those five personality factors. I'll show you a great website for creating an account to then take the test so you can save your results and do all of that for free. And then I'll go over some of my scores from my personality test so you guys can see an example of the results. All right, it shouldn't take too long. Now, the Ocean Five Factor Personality Test involves, like I said, five factors, and those are openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Most of those sound great except for neuroticism, but we'll actually see why this can be a benefit if you have the right amounts of it. Most of us maybe have too little or too much. I know I have too little neuroticism, but let's take one at a time. So the first is openness, and what I've done is I've just actually created these little I don't know what these are called, word clouds, word art, something like that, to go along with each of these factors. And, and maybe I actually didn't create them. Maybe I stole them from Pinterest. I, I forget. Anyways, um, so this first one, openness, it's, it has to do with curiosity, creativity, um, originality, uh, the desire to experience new things. This is essentially how, um, how open you are to wanting to experience different and new and surprising things about life, okay? The opposite of this would be just sort of being closed off to new experiences, being pretty uh, rigid, sort of set in your ways. I know I'm describing that negatively, but uh, openness is a, is a great quality. So people high in openness have huge imaginations. Uh, most ideas sound great to them. They're positive thinkers. Uh, maybe sometimes they could be not critical enough of new ideas and, um, and new ventures. Okay, the next one is uh, conscientiousness, all right? And if you are conscientious, then you have consistency and self-discipline and you're predictable and you're loyal and you can be counted on. Okay, conscientiousness is attention to detail, it's hard work, it's per uh, perseverance and persistence through tough times and easy times alike because you are consistent and you will always be consistent. The next one is extroversion. And extroversion is listed just because it's the opposite of introversion. So if it's not like scoring high on extroversion is good and scoring, and scoring low on extroversion is bad, it's really just are you extroverted or are you low on extroversion, aka introverted. All right, so extroverted people are outgoing. They have a tendency for affection and friendliness. They're bubbly, fun-loving. They might talk a lot. Uh, they're very sociable. They can be assertive at times. Um, they can articulate themselves well, but that doesn't mean that the opposite of that is bad. Um, introverts, they are thoughtful. They can be pensive. They can think before they speak. They say few words, but they use their words wisely. They invest in a few very deep relationships instead of spreading out their relationships among many people. And they invest deeply in their friendships and they're very loyal. So they're just two different ways of relating to other people in relationships. <clears throat> the next is agreeableness. Okay, so we've talked about openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, and then now agreeableness. This has to do with respecting other people's thoughts and feelings and opinions, allowing other people to be right sometimes instead of yourself, uh, moderation, trust. This agreeableness is all about getting along with your fellow human. I know this well because I score sort of low on agreeableness. I tend to not think of other people first. I think of what I think is right first. And so that's an area that I'm working on. Agreeableness is consideration of your fellow human. It's humbleness. It can be uh, patience with other people. All right, agreeableness is a, is a great personality trait. 
And then the last one is neuroticism. And I know that we use that word negatively and most of these words are negative, right? Self-criticism, lack of confidence, anxiety, pessimism, um, awkwardness, wariness, fear, insecurity. These are all like negative connotations. But here's the deal. Um, neuroticism is like the warning system for our body. It tells us when we should be alarmed or when we should be fearful, when we should be on our guard. I score personally very low in neuroticism. And most of the time, I love that because I don't have to deal with a lot of these issues all the time. The problem is I could probably use more of an advanced warning system when I should be afraid or when I should be feeling guilty or when I should be feeling ashamed of whatever awkward thing I just did, right? And I don't necessarily have enough neuroticism in my personality to give me some of those more cautious traits, all right? So whether you score high in neuroticism or too low in neuroticism or maybe just the right amount, it's really just that spectrum, okay? So those are the five personality traits as measured by the Ocean Personality Test. Openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. As I say them back, I have to remember the acronym in my head so I can remember all five of them. And the place that we are going to take this test, I, I realize it's cut off a little bit on your screen, but it's at truity.com, T-R-U-I-T-Y.com. I just found this resource as I was preparing the curriculum for this course uh, a year or two ago, and it's an amazing resource. It allows you to take multiple different personality tests and to save all of your results into your profile for free. It's great. So I would recommend go to truity.com, register with your email, and then take the big five personality test. Save your results and then read through the results. You don't need to pay for the expanded report or whatever. That's how they get their money is you pay for an expanded report, which would be really cool. If you've got the cash, go ahead and do it. Let me know how it is. But once you've taken this test, what I want you to do is if if you feel comfortable doing this, is to sound off in the comments below your answer to one of the following questions, okay? I'll just read them, they're also on your screen. So some questions that would be good in helping you assess your ocean personality score. So what about your score was the most surprising to you? For me, it was that I was pretty low in agreeableness. What was the least surprising? And again, for me, the least surprising was that I was very high in both openness and conscientiousness and extroversion, all right? I was fairly high in all three of those, uh, and that was no surprise to me. Which score would you like to change, okay? What, you know, maybe you need to raise your openness a little bit and open yourself up to new ideas and imagination and new experiences. For me, I would like to change my neuroticism. Honestly, I, I think I should raise it by a few points by just being conscientious and at, well, I am conscientious, by being aware of those feelings of guilt or shame or what have you. And I think I've done a decent job in, in the last few years. And then finally, uh, choose a factor that you scored highly in and maybe describe a time for us that it helped you to navigate a difficult or tricky situation in the workplace, in the classroom, or at home, or in your friendships. Okay, so go to truity.com, take the big five test. Let us know how it went in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video.